We'll see if this noise is in the background. I'm going to try and keep this fan on because it makes it really easy to write on the board. Any road. So, as you can see, title also on CNC versus manual. So, machining I'm talking about. So, I was... Uh, Loads and loads of comments come through over time on certain videos. So now and then, I'm going to go back and we're going to rediscuss people's comments, people's input over the years, stuff like that. And some comments make good points. Some comments add things that I've never even heard of before, which is fantastic. Um, and some of them are people getting completely wrong. Regardless, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, for instance, the whole talk and power horsepower argument, fucking, I'll never ever get that through to most people. It's already fucking ruined. Right. <laughs> Any road. Um, so let's get on with this. CNC versus manual. So when I was talking about making square cylinders, um, you know, people saying if you have a piston, surely all this is wasted displacement kind of thing and the squares fit together better and so on and so forth and I said well it's not just that it's a manufacturing problem also so on and so on and then a lot of people's answers to a lot of things like the uh, variable conrod everything like that they say why are you just CNC it we've seen such magical things with CNC right so the CNC thing. Oh, CNC is the same as manual machining, right? It is exactly the same. What you have on a milling machine, which is basically what all, nearly all CNC machines are when people talk about CNC. They mean a mill, right? Where you move the work and keep the tool in a static position, right? That's basically what CNC or well, that's the definition of milling really is that you are moving the work and you are keeping your tool still yes it's spinning but it's staying in the same location yes there's quills and drilling and stuff but we're talking about milling uh, lathes and stuff you spin the work and keep your tool still so that's the difference but when you do you know you've got your work here right a block and you might have mounted this clamped this down or whatever you can move it in along all three axes, right? You can just move it in the X, the Y and the Z. Let's not get into who calls what Z, Y and X and all that shite. We'll be here all year. Um, and in some ways on mills, you can also rotate. So when you're into five axis stuff, you have got your pitch where you've got... You've got... What would that be? That would be... Be roll. It wouldn't be. It'd be a type of roll. So you'd have roll. You'd have roll, and then you would have pitch. It'd be pitch, wouldn't it? That way. So it'd be pitch. And your any rod. Um, and you can do this with a manual machine. You know, you can stick a piece of work on a rotary table or an indexing head or something, a rotary table when we want to actually have it in motion. Move it around, you can do whatever. Manually you can actually even cut circles if you practice a shitload and you get close to a circle. The computer part of it is like with anything that's done with computers, just say like solder reflowing or anything like that, it's just that it is a lot more precise than we are and more repetitive it's it's accurate right that's the thing it's precision and accuracy are both up right um but it is not magic cnc is not magic it just does what we can do it only just does it quicker and better right so it can't perform miracles if you have a block like this right on your mill and you want to machine out the side of the features of a face to make a skull, right? 
and then do the eye sockets and all that shit. And you see them, they make metal skulls and stuff. You could do this, right? <laughs> It'd be shitloads of effort, shitloads of work, and you'll probably go through about 50,000 of them before you got it anywhere near bang on. But that's the whole point. You can still do it because you just take step cuts. That's all fucking CNCs do anyway. They just take refined step cuts. So you just take step cuts and you gauge out and you look at your dials. You could do it all on dials and paper, right? You could do it all and then you can turn it and make more cuts and turn it and make more cuts and turn it and make more cuts. The CNC just does it because that's all it's got to focus on. It's not thinking about shagging your missus. It's not thinking about what you're having for tea. It's not thinking about who's going to fall off this week on MotoGP or whatever. It's got nothing to think about, so it just gets on with it, right? But it's still an end mill, right? It's still a fluted end mill flying around, and it still has X, Y, and Z, and depending sometimes roll pitch or whatever, right? But that's what it's got. It's exactly the same thing. What we're talking about is just, say, when you need to cut out a square cylinder, which someone rightly said, is it really a cylinder? Good point. When you're trying to cut out a round cylinder, is the fact is, is that our rotary tools, our rotary tools, they cut in circles. Now people say, then you'd broach it or something like that. It's just simply not worth it. But, structurally as well, because of the curves. But, you know, you CNC or not, you're not gonna get in there. You can refine it and make it really small, but you're just not going to get in there. Right, square shapes, internal square sides are things of dreams, right? You just don't get them, especially mass manufacturing. CNC doesn't help you here. If you take enough time, you can always do what a CNC machine does. It's just how much time are you willing to do it when the computer can just fucking get on with it. It's like 3D printers. You could get a tube of glue and just go like that. Or people do it with welding, they build up and make tornadoes like Simon keeps on banging on about. You can make anything with build up, it's just that the machine is, it's just more repeatable and it's just, it does what you tell it to do and it's more precise at doing it and so on and so forth. There is nothing, there's nothing, nothing unique and magical about CNC, right? That you can't do manually you would just take you a lot more, a lot more fixtures, a lot more this, a lot more that. If you look at CNCs, they use the same tooling as you do for manual. You know what I mean? There's nothing sexy about it whatsoever. People just say, CNC it, because CNC can make anything. But CNC can't make anything. And the weirdest thing is, I've had, literally had this in real life where I'm at work, and guys on SolidWorks are making components or designing components that simply can't be made. For example, what they'll do is they'll have a block like that. So they'll have a block like this. Right. And it'd be countersunk there. And it'll have a little toe on it like that. Oh, that's pretty typical. They've done studies, you know. 60% of the time, it works every time. I don't have to sort him out. Right, so yeah, I was doing this. So basically, you've got something like this. I missed that bit out. So there's a counter bore here, you know, a screw goes in here, and then it's got a bloody thread on the end of it there, like that, to clamp it down to some device or whatever. And then basically, you put you put a component in here. This is a little hook, this little stop. Some probes come in here, and then you have this little tab here, and this has plunger on top and basically what happens is is you have a component that's like this right with a very thin ribbony thing in there right and what it does is it's going to clamp onto it and you think yeah all right fair enough but the size of this thing so this is 15 millimeters across right that's it right the fucking thing is bloody tiny and I was like, how are you going to put this slit in here? And how big is this slit? It's like, oh, it's 200 microns. Right, that's the, 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 the diameter, you know, the, the, the width of that slot. I was like, how long is it? He's like, oh, you know, it's, it's, it's only fucking six, six millimetres long. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? You can't do that. That's EDM stuff. But he was on about machining it. Just send it off to this place that we had 
stuff machined. And I was like, you ain't going to get that done. Ever. Ever. No one has a 200 micron slitting saw that has a diameter, right, of, well, you need clearance, wouldn't you? So you'd need, I don't know, eight, eight to the centre, eight millimetres. So we're looking for a slitting saw that is less than 200 microns or 200 microns thick. Eight millimetres um, in radius, yeah, but it can't go here and cut this side. You, 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 there's no tool that does that, right? And this is the problem. CNC and stuff makes people believe that anything is possible, right? You'd have to EDM that, but let's just say it's in fucking some kind of, you know, dodgy material. Or plastic. You know, if you wanted that clamp out of plastic, you've now fucked yourself. Even trying to injection mould that would be a fucking nightmare. The CNC is not magic. It is just faster, more repeatable by a long way, and just more precise, more accurate, and so on. To a degree, if you want to feckle stuff, if you want to get two components and make them slide and fit in a certain way, a human can actually do a better job than a CNC because the CNC is as only as good as the dickhead with a PC is inputting, as I've just demonstrated with that example. So, you know, it's it's just a yet again another tool, but it can't perform miracles. I hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.